Hello there, and welcome, beautiful stars. So let's see what's going on with them. Aries, their overall energy towards you. We have the King of Swords. This might be a Libra here. We have the Six of Wands. We have the King of Cups. Wow. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like that just flows right into the Empress card that already came out here. And oh my gosh, the sun on the bottom of the deck. So this looks like it might just be a very beautiful reading, Aries. It looks like with the King of Swords here, this person has been doing a lot of serious thinking on the situation with you. Um, and I feel like their thoughts are going in a very positive way because we have this victory success card here, the six of wands. I feel like this person is really wanting something to work out with you. They feel very proud to be with you. I feel like they really want to be seen with you since this is a card of, um, you know, being in public, uh, having a good reputation with the king of cups here. I feel like they do understand that they are really developing some feelings for you. They've had feelings for you for a very long time. Um, so they're probably not talking about them too much, but, I feel like they're feeling very safe and comfortable in their feelings because um, they see like all your potential, your worth, your value with this Nine of Pentacles here. Um, I feel like they're they're understanding maybe they need to make a move. They need to try to win you over right now um, because they, maybe they see you have a lot of people who are interested in you and um, taking you for, for their person because the Empress can be um, like a spouse or a parent, um, just someone who is someone or you know, like someone just who has really everything going for them in their life while wow, the nine of cups is showing up here as well what is going on here aries um it looks like this person's just really um excited about you overall and really wants you wants to play a big part in your life let's get some oracle cards that was just the tarot So if you guys aren't actually in a relationship with this person, I feel like they, they want to take things to the next level with you. A lot of people refer to this as the pre-empress card. So to me, this is saying, let's go to the next level. Um, I Oh, well, yeah, there you go. I want to marry you. And there's only you on the bottom of this deck. Wow. Um, let's see, separation. Maybe you guys have been separated for a while. And they want to close the gap. Um, Love conquers all. This is my six of wands card. You guys got all like the really nice positive cards in this deck. Wow. This is amazing. Aries readings seem to go up and down, you guys. Like, sometimes we get some really kind of meh readings, and then other times we just get really beautiful, positive stuff like this. Um, <laughs> I imagine you naked. Okay, yeah, so there's um, definitely a lot of physical attraction here. That, that can be what the Empress card is about as well. And I want a fresh start with you. Yeah, I feel like you, that you represent a new life to them. So I feel like they, they see you as the logical choice. Um, listen to your heart and they are listening to their heart. It's this King of Cups here. So this is perfect. This person has this, um, you know, I feel like they've succeeded at having this union of logic and emotion here. So they're listening to their head and their heart. They're feeling that their head, their head and their heart aligns here. And this is what's motiv motivating them to want to take the next steps with you. I mean, maybe actually marriage with some of you or for more of you, maybe just um, a committed relationship or something where they're investing themselves more into you. And here's codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I feel maybe some of them have just started to free themselves from a situation. A king, the king of swords can be someone who has cut themselves away from other situations that they were maybe blinding themselves from in the past with this deception card here. So I feel they wanted to be sure that they were free and clear of something before they move forward with you. So maybe they are finally clearing that because they don't want to repeat the same thing with you. So I feel that they understand this is going to be different this time. And here's, oh, nice, the king. We have like the emperor showing up here. Man, authority, male, sexual energy, things pertaining to the law and justice. So another three card. Okay. Um, wow. Three kings here as well. So, um, yeah, maybe areas you have several people who are very interested in um, having a lot more with you. And we have the horse showing up as well. So the year of the horse could be significant, maybe. Um, but, yeah, this is someone who really is motivated, passionate about you, and wants to take action. Um, yeah, I do feel like whoever you're inquiring about, they are really wanting to take action towards you. Um, because they know their time is limited. You know that you have um, a lot, maybe lots of eyes on you. 
Um, they really think you are all that. Okay, I think it was this card that wanted to come out. All right, and here's time to fly, number 44. So yeah, time to get on it, time to get going, time to get moving. Um, this could actually mean you're actually getting on an airplane, airplane and flying towards you. Interesting. Okay, so let's get some more details here, Aries. Let's see, what are they thinking about you overall? What are their overall thoughts about you? We have the Three of Cups. This person is just generally happy when they think about you. And here's the Queen of Swords. All right, this could also be this codependent situation that's coming up. You know, this is someone that they're finally free of, maybe. And here's the Seven of Wands. I feel one thing is they are very glad that you seem to be nothing like maybe this ex-partner here or just people in general who they who have made their lives very difficult um so i feel they've had their guard up for a while with you or i feel maybe they they're trying to keep the connection with you safe from people who might pry into it you know whether that's ex-partners or family members um that might interfere they i feel like they really are trying to keep this connection safe so that way they can move forward with you time to fly again with this eight of wands here interesting that we have a six seven eight of wands so i feel like they are just we have a lot of progression here in this reading okay let's get another card for their thoughts for a few of you i suppose this could be like a remarriage um, I knew what I was doing. Yeah, they, they really, I, I am getting that from them. They, they are in their authority. They have, it seems like they do have a plan to make things work between you two. Um, they have a plan to maybe protect this connection between you two. What are they feeling about you overall, Aries? We have the Six of Pentacles. This person is motivated to give to you. The Eight of Cups. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. And here's the Chariot. So I'm taking the Eight of Cups here as more like a travel or a journey card. Um, it feels like they really want to, like I do feel long, long distance here for a lot of you, that they do want to work to um, save up money for maybe taking some kind of um, trip with you or towards you. And um, let's see, I, I do feel like they're, they're trying not to um, spend too much time in their emotions either. I feel like they're trying to just um, feel things out practically. They're trying to stay more down to earth and so they don't just get carried away with their feelings for you. Um, I feel like they're, they're trying not to get too overexcited about this too because um, they don't want to get themselves way up in the air and only to be let down if something doesn't work out or maybe if you change your mind because they, they know that you have a lot of options here. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So yeah, for a few of you, I feel like this could be a separation situation. We did see separation coming up. But um, for more of you, this is a promising new connection. So this could be maybe they're having a hard time letting go of something from their past, something or someone from their past, which is why they haven't been ready to completely dive into your their emotions with you. This is from the top of the deck here. I feel you, even though we are apart. So um yeah, it, this could also mean that you don't know how hard it is to be apart from you, to be in separation with you. Okay, and then for a few of you, this could be like an amicable separation, possibly, um, where they, they're really wishing you well, that you'll find your happiness. Okay, so your their intentions towards you. Here's the Five of Pentacles. So it looks like money is suddenly becoming more of a focus in this relationship or in this reading here. Maybe in this relationship in general too. Here's Strength. Okay, that's nice. And um, I like that this is like um, kind of like a victory crown here as well. And then here's the Eight of Swords. So I'm getting like this person really, they might be having some financial struggles right now or feeling like um, they may lack the resources to make this work with you right now. Um, but I like that we have the strength card in the middle. We have another eight coming through, eight, eight, and eight here, um, and eight, <laughs> where they are um, 
really trying to do like pool their resources, everything they have. They're, they're trying, finding the will to make this work with you. Also, the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like they they still are trying to find more of their independence. I do feel like they have this independence in their heart and mind, but maybe just materially they're not independent yet. Um, the Eight of Swords here. This could mean that they 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 could be feeling stuck and waiting for maybe something to shift in your life in their life before they can make a move but i feel like they want to keep this connection strong with you keep going strong okay let's get another one of these cards time to fly time to free themselves i feel like maybe some of you are a really good example for them with um in regards to independence i feel you leaving me behind so yeah some of them are very very worried there's a lot of anxieties here that they keep playing over in their head about um maybe you're going to find someone else um let's see here before they're able to get their stuff together and here's the ten of pentacles and be able to provide you with that foundation they feel like you really deserve that um empress deserves okay let's see Let's see, what are their main blocks and fears in this connection with you, Aries? I think this card wanted to come out. Ace of Wands. So I want a fresh start with you, a fresh start. So it's like, yeah, they, they're super desiring um, uh, fanning the flames and just letting this this um, relationship go, like take on a life of its own with you. But they feel like they're, they're not able to do that just yet. Let's get one more card. But I feel like this person is really trying their best to collect all their energies and come into their power. Here, oh yeah, look at that. Here's the sun. They really are trying to collect all this fire energy. Cause look the in the ten of cups. Um, because I, I don't we don't have a king of wands out here. We don't have the king of pentacles. So um they they are doing their best, I feel, to become the emperor, to become your match. I feel like they're they're like running a race and they want to get there. You know, they want to have this victory and success. So interesting, we have um from two different decks and two different cards, we have like a um like a victory crown here. So interesting aries and leo there okay what do they most want you to know aries here's the four of swords so they might be needing some time to think think things through they're still trying to recover from past events that have really taken them um for a deep dive, you know, like a painful dive. Here's death. Okay. Yeah. That, speaking of that, they're like, I still need time to get over something ending. Um, perhaps for a few of you, this is like, I'm still trying to get over the ending between you two. Um, and then here's the 10 of pentacles. Wow. So they could really be trying to separate themselves from a, um, previous commitment. Um, trying to, I feel for some of them, maybe their finances have been affected, by maybe some kind of divorce or separation or family situation and yeah wow the ten of swords as well so i feel the big message he here is for many of you they're dealing with something um if they've been quiet um they're really dealing with something that has um been very very challenging for them and I, but i feel like they are trying to really put a close to it because they really want to break free they want this fresh start in life that's coming through very strong because these are very um strongly positive cards here overall i feel um, let's see. What might you expect from them in the next couple weeks, Aries? Anything. We're the Knight of Swords, so maybe some communication coming in, some um, intense conversations all of a sudden if you haven't been talking too much. But I feel that they're very motivated to reach out to you, to communicate with you. Just Nine of Swords. Oh, geez. Okay, I guess that wants to be reversed. Reverse. Four of Cups reverse. Okay, I'd like to see that one reverse. This is actually my least favorite card in the deck. <laughs> um, so they could be finally breaking through some anxiety um, about talking to you. Because we have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords here. Something has been very scary for them with this connection. Like, I feel like they're very nervous about losing you. Um, maybe a few of them have felt like they've had to really play down their emotions and I feel like they're, they're they're just revving themselves back up again so I feel you will get some more energy coming in from this person um, very soon if you haven't yet okay so let's get you a few advice cards Aries and then we'll get you some message cards from them advice for Aries for the rest of July the time is now yeah okay so don't procrastinate what, what is right now for you you are ready. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> yep, 
you do really look ready here, Aries, the Nine of Pentacles, to the Empress. Like, there is there some big move you need to make here? And create a vision board. Okay, yeah, so go after what, if you have a vision board or you have a vision in mind for something, <clears throat> excuse me, go after it. Go after it. Okay, and it seems like you have a lot of success energy around you right now. So I would definitely um, start thinking of how you really want your life to look. What does your happiest and best life look like? Get a really good picture of that. It's very important to have these um, pictures of a beautiful future for yourself, your heart's truest desires. Okay, so um, Aries. Well, this is another eight here, 44, 4 plus 4. Um, what would they say to you? I wish I could take it all back. So yeah, I do get like some of these people are a past partner wanting to reconcile or this, I feel for more of you, this is them wishing that they never had to go through maybe what, some this difficult experience they're dealing with. Like, I feel like they're like, I wish I could take it all back and give it to you instead, Aries. Thank you for being so patient and understanding. Yeah. Um, especially if they have been trying to cut ties with something very difficult. We both need to heal first. These things take time, but it is worth the wait, worth the work. And here's, it's like you were made specifically for me, but I keep sabotaging it. Yeah, some of them do really see your worth and your value. And maybe some of them are like really struggling with um, stepping up and meeting you at that level. And you found out something about me. Okay. Very specific message for some of you. Um, I wish you wouldn't push me away. Okay, I feel these messages are for those of you who maybe were in a conflict with this person. And I want to get back together. Wow. Okay. And I want to be like you. Yes, you, you're definitely an inspiration for this person. I was feeling that very much. Like, they're like, you have it going on. Um, I'm I'm racing. I'm struggling to catch up to where you are. I want to be like you. And I'm so jealous. So maybe they're jealous if you are in another relationship. Um, or they're just jealous of your success. And let's see here. It's safer to keep all this in my head. Yeah, it's, it's very hard for them to speak of their emotions. They are... Um, locked up when when it comes to talking about feelings especially with this knight of swords you know that's someone that doesn't really want to talk about their feelings but um they very much are motivated to have the connection with you and you help me to see clearly yeah i feel like they're understanding they need to to move on from something very much and um, i treasure our time together it's nice here's i have so much i want to say to you and we did see like they, they seem to be maybe breaking through um, some kind of wall with um, regards to communication. Maybe coming out of a period of silence with this four swords here. All right. So then we have, I see your face, smell your scent, and hear your voice every single place I go. I'm sorry I've hurt you so many times. Goodness, these two groups of people here. One with the promising new relationship and the other with this um, long-running relationship where you guys just might get back together. Um, please don't give up on me. I need you to help me grow. And you guys, it's this kind of card. Only do that if you have peace in your heart around that. And it's not a draining process for you. Um, the more you heal, the more or the deeper my desire grows for you. And this could go, this is a great advice card actually too, because, um, you know, even if it doesn't work out with a specific person in mind, the more you do heal, the more you work on yourself and make yourself into a resplendent, beautiful person from the inside and, you know, that comes out on the outside as well. The more you do that, the more wonderful options you um, have available to you in, in um, love. Really good quality options. Um, I can't bear to build it all again, to watch it all wash away. Yeah, this person is still deeply affected by something in their past. And for a few of you, this could have to do with maybe what you guys have between you two. And all I ever wanted and needed is in you. Yep, the Empress here, you know, they see the full potential of a relationship with you. They see something very beautiful. The Empress is the one with just everything. Um, your name is following me everywhere. So maybe they've tried to forget you and they really can't. 
and you leave me breathless and without words, but they are finding the words to come in and talk to you again. And let's see this one. I could, oh wow. I could listen to your voice for days on end. Okay, so that goes out to you Tauruses out there. <laughs> Um, because they, maybe they see you have a lot of people who are interested in you and um, taking you for for their person because the empress can be um, like a spouse or a parent, um, just someone who is someone or you know, like someone just who has really everything going for them in their life. Wow, the nine of cups is showing up here as well. What is going on here, Aries? Um, it looks like this person's just really um, excited about you overall and really wants you wants to play. A big part in your life. Let's get some oracle cards. That was just the tarot. So if you guys aren't actually in a relationship with this person, I feel like they, they want to take things to the next level with you. A lot of people refer to this as the pre-empress card. So to me, this is saying, let's go to the next level. Um, I Oh, well, yeah, there you go. I want to marry you. And there's only you on the bottom of this deck. Wow. Um, let's see. Separation. Maybe you guys have been separated for a while and they want to close the gap. Um, Love conquers all. This is my six of wands card. You guys got all like the really nice positive cards in this deck. Wow. This is amazing. Aries readings seem to go up and down, you guys. Like sometimes we get some really kind of meh readings and then other times we just get really beautiful positive stuff like this um <laughs> i imagine you naked okay yeah so there's um definitely a lot of physical attraction here that that can be what the empress card is about as well and i want a fresh start with you yeah i feel like you that you represent a new life to them so i feel like they, they see you as the logical choice um listen to your heart and they are listening to their heart it's this king of cups here so this is perfect. This person has this, um, you know, I feel like they've succeeded at having this union of logic and emotion here. So they're listening to their head and their heart. They're feeling that their head, their head and their heart aligns here. And this is what's motiv motivating them to want to take the next steps with you. I mean, maybe actually marriage with some of you or for more of you, maybe just um, a committed relationship or something where they're investing themselves more into you. And here's codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I feel maybe some of them have just started to free themselves from a situation. A king, the king of swords can be someone who has cut themselves away from other situations that they were maybe blinding themselves from in the past with this deception card here. So I feel they wanted to be sure that they were free and clear of something before they move forward with you. So maybe they are finally clearing that. Because they don't want to repeat the same thing with you. So I feel that they understand this is going to be different this time. And here's, oh, nice, the king. We have, like, the emperor showing up here. Man, authority, male sexual energy, things pertaining to the law and justice. So another three card. Okay. Um, wow. Three kings here as well. So, um, yeah, maybe Aries, you have several people who are very interested in um, having a lot more with you. And we have the horse showing up as well. So year of the horse could be significant, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is someone who really is motivated, passionate about you and wants to take action. Um, yeah, I do feel like whoever you're inquiring about, they are really wanting to take action towards you. Um, because they know their time is limited. You know that you have um, a lot, maybe lots of eyes on you. Um, they really think you are all that. Okay, I think it was this card that wanted to come out. All right, and here's time to fly, number 44. So yeah, time to get on it, time to get going, time to get moving. Um, this could actually mean you're actually getting on an airplane, airplane and flying towards you. Interesting. Okay, so let's get some more details here, Aries. Let's see, what are they thinking about you overall? What are their overall thoughts about you? the three of cups this person is just generally happy when they think about you and here's the queen of swords all right this could also be this codependent situation that's coming up you know this is someone that they're finally free of maybe and here's the seven of wands i feel one thing is they are very glad that you seem to be nothing like maybe this ex-partner here or just people in general who they who have made their lives very difficult um so i feel they've had their guard up for a while with you or i feel maybe they they're trying to keep the connection with you safe from people who might pry into it 
you know, whether that's ex-partners or family members um, that might interfere. They, I feel like they really are trying to keep this connection safe so that way they can move forward with you. Time to fly again with this Eight of Wands here. Interesting that we have a Six, Seven, Eight of Wands. So I feel like they are just, we have a lot of progression here in this reading. Okay, let's get another card for their thoughts. For a few of you, I suppose this could be like a remarriage. Um, I knew what I was doing. Yeah, they they really, I, I am getting that from them. They, they are in their authority. They have, it seems like they do have a plan to make things work between you two. Um, they have a plan to maybe protect this connection between you two. What are they feeling about you overall, Aries? We have the Six of Pentacles. This person is motivated to give to you. Eight of Cups. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. And here's the Chariot. So I'm taking the Eight of Cups here as more like a travel or a journey card. Um, it feels like they really want to, like I do feel long, long distance here for a lot of you, that they do want to work to um, save up money for maybe taking some kind of um, trip with you or towards you. And um, let's see, I, I do feel like they're they're trying not to um, spend too much time in their emotions either. I feel like they're trying to just um, feel things out practically. They're trying to stay more down to earth and so they don't just get carried away with their feelings for you. Um, I feel like they're they're trying not to get too overexcited about this too because um, they don't want to get themselves way up in the air and only to be let down if something doesn't work out or maybe if you change your mind because they, they know that you have a lot of options here. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So yeah, for a few of you, I feel like this could be a separation situation. We did see separation coming up, but um, for more of you, this is a promising new connection. So this could be maybe they're having a hard time letting go of something from their past, something or someone from their past, which is why they haven't been ready to completely dive into your their emotions with you. This is from the top of the deck here. I feel you, even though we are apart. So um yeah, it, this could also mean that you don't know how hard it is to be apart from you, to be in separation with you. Okay, and then for a few of you, this could be like an amicable separation, possibly, um, where they, they're really wishing you well, that you'll find your happiness. Okay, so your their intentions toward you. Here's the Five of Pentacles. So it looks like money is suddenly becoming more of a focus in this relationship or in this reading here. Maybe in this relationship in general too. Here's Strength. Okay, that's nice. And um, I like that this is like um, kind of like a victory crown here as well. And then here's the Eight of Swords. So I'm getting like this person really, they might be having some financial struggles right now or feeling like um, they maybe lack the resources to make this work with you right now. Um, but I like that we have the strength card in the middle. We have another eight coming through eight, eight, and eight here. Um, and eight <laughs> where they are, um, really trying to do like pool their resources, everything they have, they're, they're trying, finding the will.